All right, what's going on YouTube? It's Fantavis here. I wanted to do a little update and see how you guys are doing with the new season and the new towers that we have going on. So as you can see, I'm level 55. I've been doing a little bit of grinding. We finally was able to get Brutus to level 50. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing. So Brutus, in order to rank up, I need more of those drops of patience and then a couple of more champion. And we already have the essence needed. But my setup to start controlling the towers and, and going up the, the towers easily has been using these two right here. I told you a while ago I got Eric at uh, six stars and he was sitting at level 20 for a long time and then I found the use of him. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna go into battle and show you why those two are a powerful combo. As you can see, we cleared several of the floors. Now clearing the towers, they are the quickest way to level up. Uh, but I also noticed if you fight the Roman boss, you level up that way too, if you fight. So instead of doing like, when you go to your hunts from now on, this is what I want y'all to start doing. Instead of just going through like the auto run, just go ahead, have a strong team set up and run through because oh, I don't have enough. Anyway, if you run through, you get a little bit of XP. So instead of doing an auto run, just go ahead and run through the actual battle and that'll give you some XP. I'm looking at all the ways to get XP real quick. And, um, and that's just one of them. You don't get anything for going through the Rift, which sucks um, because of all the people you fight in the Rift, it would be nice to, to get a little bit of XP on that. But uh, yeah, the actual bounties, these Roman bosses, you get XP for that as well as fighting in a hunt. I'm gonna show you um, this little setup I've been doing in order to conquer the tower. It doesn't matter who the boss is. This setup will help y'all level up pretty quick. So this is the main weapon I've been using. Now you know I have other swords or other weapons stronger. Like my 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 axe, I mean my hammer is actually stronger than my sword technically because it has more charms and stuff like that. But I've only been using my sword, and if, it doesn't matter if I'm fighting the cult or outlaws. Like I'm gonna fight this. I'll fight this on stream with you guys. But the troll and the goblin. That's all I'm really worried about. And so the reason I use this one is because I get the region as well as protect and focus. And then let's go back to my knight real quick. I want you guys to try to copy this as best you can. I'm using a holy gauntlet. And both Brutus and Eric are warriors. So the warriors, you get an extra 30% damage with normal powers. Right. Brutus is an alchemist, so he's able to charge up faster. He gets the alchemist speed, but he also gets the warrior's normal power. So his healing that he gives you is 30% is, uh, stronger. So Brutus, whenever he does his normal attack, he'll give you a heal as well. So you get more health back whenever you use this gauntlet. And then none of them benefit from the holy boost. Now, something I didn't mention before, and I think you guys should really consider this, the tuning forks available. Change this right here. You can change to strong versus. So the person that you'll probably have the hardest time with is the Colts, because they hit for, uh, one of those guys hit for straight health, as well as the Golems. There's a, there's a person in there who hits from straight health as well. So earlier today, I changed this because I was fighting against a cult, like an all cult um, person in the tower. So I just changed, I had two of them for goblins and then I had uh, the rest for the cult, but I recently changed that as well as, let's go here. I actually, so I used to have a gold charm here. I actually changed it out to have three purple health charms. So if you look right here, I have this gold charm that I took out of there for armor. But when they hit your health, that's how I was losing quick. So I substituted that out. So let's go ahead and get into, so you see my health is 101,000 my my um, armor is 295,000. Oh, sure, I don't have enough of this either. We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to do it for the video, <sighs> guys. I was saving that for something else, but we'll do it for the video. So yeah, that's a that's that's a what I've been doing to run through this. Now let me show you the practicalities in the actual match. Show you why it's useful. And look, look remember it's only troll and goblin. So let's just see how this works out. So already Brutus has a super, and I like Erickson because his ultimate freezes everyone, and it's 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 pretty good. It works on a beast. It works on uh, like most of the enemies in this tower. That's how I mean. I've been rolling through, even if the enemy is higher than me, I've been rolling through these fights because of Ericsson and uh, Brutus. But so the two in the back are froze. I think both of them are frozen. Oh, he only froze one this time. This guy's gone. Oh yeah, I like that about him too. Ericsson, he, when he when he does his normal attack, it hits everyone in the front row. So let's do this. Let's hit him twice. Let's hit the other guy on the left once. And then let's see if we can freeze everyone. Hopefully we'll be able to freeze everybody. So we froze someone in the back. We froze the main dude. So we froze like 90% of everyone. And we only just, we only have this one guy. This one guy who wasn't frozen. You see, this is like super effective. So I'm getting my health back. Look, looks, it's like I never got hit. I got protect on, I have regen, I have focus. And it's like I never got hit. So, I mean, it's just, it works out so well. So some, I got this idea for my um, my guild actually. One, my guild leader, he's at level 58 right now, I believe. And I was frustrated and I was telling him, like, this tower thing is ridiculous. I can't climb to the top. And he, he suggested changing my charms on my health, on my, on my armor. Worked out 
really well because now the coats aren't hitting me that hard. And then if I need to change the golems, I just change a couple of them to the golems. So I'm only changing two things. Like the weapon stays the same no matter who I'm fighting. I mean, it's just it's easy at this point. It really isn't hard now. So this is how you can run through the towers. Hopefully you're learning some stuff. And if you are, make sure you show some love hit that like and subscribe button because I'm going to be dropping videos like this on a regular. Like, my main focus from now on is going to be my Weird Funkle project that I got going on. I hope you guys are enjoying that. I want to drop them on Instagram first and then I'm going to just drop everything on, on um, YouTube once I finish. I have like three, four more videos I need to drop on Instagram. Then I'm going to drop everything on YouTube um, a couple of days after. So if you want to see that little project that I'm doing first, go ahead and go over to the Instagram. You can see my little Funkle project. I'm actually going to drop one right after I'm done with this video. So just again freezing these people Brutus you don't even have to have them at the level I have them at I just recently got them to this level so don't feel like oh the only reason he's killing these guys is easy is because he has them at this level I literally just got them um, Eric at 55 like yesterday so before that he was stuck at 45 I, I got enough points I just maxed him out I'm just like alright I'm gonna throw everything I got into him because he's effective so yeah my, my um my leader told us start using you know the, the armor with who you're fighting and that was brilliant then he also said that he has his sword set up so where it does frozen and stun and that's how he's able to beat that beast with like ridiculous health so either his sword is going to stun the dude or he's going to freeze him i can take eric since i know he freezes everybody and see if he'll work and he's been working perfect so that's that again that's why i got that idea big shout out to my leader of my guild i got one more thing i'm gonna show you at the end so just stay tuned and we'll get there just be a little patient with me i might edit this part out the video all right, there we go. So this guy is dead. Almost at, what, level 56. So they give you a lot of XP. So we'll work our way up this tower. And like I said, it works on the golems too. They're not even they're not even a problem. So the only thing I would change if I'm about to fight this person is I would come in here. I really don't need all these coat um, torments. I would just change this to the golem. Um, and then once I go through the rift this week, I'll buy a couple of more tuning forks. Um, and then, yeah, that's what I would do right here. So now when I fight those two, I have two charms. Um, well, two armors that's geared for golems and then three that's for the cult and everyone else is not an issue i'm um, everyone else is this guy the arrow guy this guy may be an issue i haven't fought him yet but everybody else is not really an issue like i'm running through these towers pretty easily so let's go back up guy right here actually there's someone in my guild right now who's who has beat this one so i'm gonna reach out to him and see what he did to beat this guy right here because he's pretty tough um he hits you with death or doom sorry and then right after his turn that thing like destroys you you see it deals 112 to 151 thousand I mean, it will rip through your entire health bar. And I tried with all coat. He's not even like the thing is he's not a coat enemy. I don't even like he has unknown here, so I don't know what to use to make him not hit that hard. But um, I just think I gotta level up. I gotta go past his level, maybe be at level 56 um, or 57 because right now he's just hitting way too hard, and we're at standstill with that. But everything else, I'm like running through these towers whenever I ever have the time. Maybe some of y'all hiring me, that's cool. But uh, yeah, it, it hasn't like if you follow this formula right now, it's pretty easy. Change your armor pieces to the coat and the golems. Change your sword to um, the troll and the, and the go goblins, and the rest is just easy. Make sure you have those charms where you have to protect, um, and using the two heroes that I showed you, Brutus and, um, and Eric. And then the Enlightened Library, too, can help out. So I have, uh, well, let's go back here. So make sure that if you can, get this maxed out, because like my healing has a little, it's a 30% boost on the healing. The crits have more, and the damage has more. So all this plays a major factor. And you've already seen that um, I'm already getting a boost because of the, the gauntlet. So on top of that gauntlet boost, I'm getting this boost right here as well. So it's just, these are the heroes that I have maxed out to 45 in, in, in order to get to level uh, 10. So just follow this, it shouldn't be a problem. All right, that's all I have. I'm gonna wrap up the video and this out.